She didn't take up vaulting until 2004 when she was approached by coach Rick Sir after he saw her hold her own in a men's pickup basketball game. Her potential as a world-class world vaulter was obvious almost immediately. Within the span of two weeks in the winter of 2005, Jen won her first collegiate pole vault title at the NAIA Championships and her first U.S. national indoor title at a championship meet in Boston. She also added runner-up finishes for both the 55-meter hurdles and the javelin at the NAIA Championships that year. She was named an NAIA All-American in track and field to go along with her All-American honor in basketball. In 2006, she won her first of three consecutive U.S. National Outdoor Pole Vaulting titles. The next year, in May of 2007, she broke the American Outdoor Vault Record. And then a month later, set a new mark, becoming the first U.S. woman to clear 16 feet. Jen won her second U.S. indoor title in 2008, and then again broke her own American outdoor record. She won the Olympic trials in July, setting a new American outdoor mark at 16 feet, 1 and 3 quarter inches. That punched her ticket to Beijing, China. At the Olympic Games in August, we all proudly watched as she brought home the silver to become the first ever Chautauqua County athlete to earn an Olympic medal. Just nine days ago, Jen added the American indoor pole vault record to her resume by clearing 15 feet, nine and three quarter inches at the Boston Indoor Games. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jen Sosinski the greatest American woman pole vaulter of all time. <laughs> Jennifer, to present you with this honor this evening. Not only are you getting better by the year, it seems like it's every week. Three weeks ago, won the Miller Rose Games in New York City. Two weeks ago, set a new American record in Boston. And just back from the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville, she won the Tyson International. What a privilege to have Jennifer inducted in the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame. And she's one of the youngest ever to be inducted. Thank you. Fredonia, when I was in 
high school there, and he was a legend to us. I mean, he was the one that we watched. He's the one with the jersey hanging up in the hallway. And to think that, you know, I'm getting requests to get my jersey up there, you know, my thing. And it's unbelievable because I think what I felt like when I was a freshman and a sophomore watching him, and now it's, and I'm in his shoes a little bit, and it's awesome. And so I just want to thank everyone involved, and it's been, it's been a crazy trip, crazy road here from trying to pull out my dad, trying to find odd jobs around the store, like scraping gum off the sidewalk and painting the yellow post out front just so he could pay me and justify the price of paying me so I could travel up to Rochester to train for pole vault. So, I mean, I thank my family for that and your support with everything. And, you know, traveling to the meets, I know they're very boring, but, you know, thanks for coming. And, you know, I have to thank my coach when he started me pole vaulting. He's, um, he actually continued to drive on to Rochester, but he wanted to see his two kids, so he, you know, he sends his condolences for not being here. But, you know, he's the one that started me with pole vault, and he's the one that gave me, you know, the attitude of, you can pole vault, you can do this. Because if any of you know from high school, um, Dan Palmer will be able to tell you, as soon as the game was done and I saw him sitting there requesting an interview with me, I was in the locker room, I did not talk to anyone, I was so shy. And so, I mean, he's giving me the mental part to be able to deal with all of it, to be able to stand up there, stand up here now, be able to talk to you. And so, so I thank him for that, and Dan Palmer for nominating me here. Um, I know the story was, he kept bragging that no one ever hit a softball on his van. So I was up to bat, and right after he said that, I popped him over home plate and hit his van. <laughs> so, you know, that's how I played the fame there. But, I just want to thank everyone for your support. It's amazing to come home and still see the signs out, still see the shirts, still hear people saying, you know, it meant so much to watch you on TV. It means so much for you, you know, to represent our community, our town. And it's not just Fredonia, it's everywhere. It's everywhere around here. So I just want to thank everyone for that.